Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you so much for watching this video. So today, what I want to inform you of is what these energies are going to be like here for the rest of January. And this is especially true for a group of Twin Flames that are coming together. And this is this has been the big beef with a lot of people and what I can tell you is stick to your own true love story there is a grand design here at work yes there is and so what I'm going to talk about are twins transiting home from January into February February is the physical reintroduction together now a lot of people have met their twin they've encountered them some people have not met in person they've actually met through some other venue some people have met a false twin and it's taking a little time to get all of these falsities out of everyone everyone because in order to have the purity of your love you want to get out whatever is foreign to both of you that's been a big part of the behind the scenes and the behind the scenes that the divine parents yes all of the parental rod and staff union blu-rays have been doing now during this transit now this is a transit that astrologers aren't going to tell you about but this is a transit that assists you in transcending karma and putting you onto an entirely different timeline your move to a new timeline now how does this feel though because some of this is really weird at this human level it's like this okay you're bobbing in the water did you feel seasick did you feel motion sickness did you have a sense of vertigo did you feel any of these did you feel movement as though it could feel to you as though you're on a boat but you're inside the boat and or you're inside something and the vehicle is moving your own vehicle is moving your vehicle is your light body and your light body is moving with not against these waves of energy that are actually love so the love that is emanating is actually providing the movement it provides many other types of movement such as cosmic wind it provides certain weather patterns here so that's all stuff that is in some of my webinars feeling movement did you feel vertigo dizziness was it mild did you sometimes have a day where you felt like you got out of the boat and but you needed to find your sea legs probably did you feel your heart getting jiggly inside your chest yeah a lot of you did did you feel sensations around your ears your eyes did you feel like things were spinning around your head that's going to be the vertigo sensation and did you feel a generally a sense of imbalance now there's another thing that went along with this transit you are distinctly leaving the old space I'm not kidding when I'm telling you we closed the door in 2016 the reason being that we were done with a lot of stuff it was truly the ending of an era it started approaching and everything was getting preparatory for it it's here now so now now that you can close it what else did people feel emotion they felt the tsunami of sadness come up and we had that retrograde to help us say goodbye to help review to help see what needed to get done now things are moving forward and it may not necessarily be time for action for some of you some of you still have to stay put and find your footing in this energy why because your other needs you so if 
And this is especially true if you or your other has been a drinker, a drugger, you drink, you drug, or they drink drugs, smoke something, or smoke cigarettes, tobacco, anything. Some certain medications, for some people it's time to wind down and wean themselves off the meds. Certain medications. Not everyone should wean themselves off their medication. However, if you're aware that you or your twin really need to get off of something, and it might be something as seemingly innocent as birth control, and yet you're getting all the promptings, and it's time to get off of it, okay? These are where you'll feel this because you're leaving that old space. Or if someone is in a karmic relationship or still, you know, they're finding lovers, one night stands, etc., etc. I mean, some of this is still very base, ladies and gentlemen, while you're trying to lift off. Your heart's like a propeller. You're trying to lift off and it's both airy and watery. And you're going to be putting it together with the earthy. And so, and there's a reason, because there's other events coming up. February, there's several events. April, huge event happening. And I'll be doing another video about that. But if you have any of these issues, which are down to the level of habits, I want to reassure you that these are not core issues. These are not soul wounds anymore. These are not soul group wounds. These are habits. These are habits that people will, if they're persistent, will be able to get rid of. And in the best way ever, where it starts feeling natural as though you just don't really feel like smoking. You just don't really feel like taking that thing. You just don't really feel like having 10 drinks. And for some people, it will be a weaning away. For other people, they may be able to go cold turkey. You will also detox. You'll detox the actual damage to the human body that may have been incurred by doing some of these things. And it could be things like sexually transmitted diseases. It could be inhalation of either environmental or intoxicants. It could be drinking things that have affected your nerves. Medications sometimes affect the nerves. That's something that not everyone addresses in the medical community, that if you're taking certain things or if you have a procedure, what is your aftercare? And you'll detox the effects of that, okay? So if, you, if you've if you had to have a surgery, you know, it is being addressed in certain corners now of how would you wean someone off of the pain medications? Or do they stay addicted to it and fall into a hole? We're not letting either of you fall into a hole. So you're going to repress the actual damage. The nerves will be coming to life. Sometimes nerves scream when they come back to life. They're like, woohoo! But that means it's pain. The old dead parts get fungal infections on them and need to be burned, you know, treated properly. They will burn off old stuff. Just like a tree stump. If you chop a tree and the stump is in the ground and you've got this dead material there, that's why you'll see mushrooms pop up out of the ground. Well, some of you are going to have mushrooms pop up on your body to get rid of the old dead material, which for twin flames translates as these are old dead connections to people in old timelines. The nerves will come to life and things will clear. Also, all repressions, and this includes emotions from the lower spectrum. This is specifically for our children, okay, the children of the Blu-ray Twin Flames. We are, we are helping and have helped already get our children up and ready. And they now need to help their other half. It's that simple. So this is going to be the children of Gaia. So if you feel as though you've had a lifetime connected to Atlantis, Egypt, Mu, which is Lemuria, if you felt connected to parts of the land that connect to that, Southern Europe, Northern Europe, 
Northern Africa, Polynesia, Australia, California, and especially the United States. And yes, this includes the UK, it includes India. So you may know some of your lineage. Mars, this is a lot of the fighting and the warring and the control and the action. Not all of it's been bad. There are things that need to take action. And you'll see with this presidential inauguration that we're having in a few days that this is going to be the ending of some of this. We've needed to get some of you out of there, which is why the transit. Why are you transiting home? Why is there a transit right now? Because you people are intended to be in love and unaffected by these old timelines and old energies. Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto. This has been a lot of the deep mental, intellectual, mental enslavement, torment, mental torment, mental what could be called uh, some kind of emotional disturbance and or mental illness originating and mostly getting healed in these areas and finishing here because finishing it, how do you finish it? How do you conclude it? by reintroducing you two together. Now, as you come together, there are things to know. So let's say you're with your twin, or you know your twin, and your twin is somebody that, you know, you say, you know, I've just had it. You keep coming to me and you want to recharge your batteries, and you know what? Just go back. I just don't really want to deal with it anymore. I just, you know, you keep running here every time there's a problem, and then you go back to other relationships, and I'm left in the cold. And it's felt like that. It's felt like that for a long time. It's been okay because everyone's had these lives where you can kind of piece it together. You can get a little recharge on your battery. Not anymore. Not anymore. But should she stay angry with him? Okay, if she's angry, she puts up a wall to him. She's putting up that wall and she's turning away and that doesn't help matters. Okay, because he will. Because as soon as she's pushed, that push goes down and he will retreat into the lower chakras. And I don't just mean the sexual areas. It means the hara, the sacral, the root feet, mind, and where's the heart in this? So, guess what? You're together now. Like it or not, you're together. Whatever this person does, you may, you may feel a reflection of some of the repercussions. You're going to get all of the old past stuff out and detox it anyway. You just will. Why not make it easy on yourself? Because if you express anger, if you say, I'm just going to let this go, go ahead and do what you want. I don't want to know about it anymore. And then you see it on social media and you're like, ah, ah, what do I do? Ping pong, ping pong. You wind up boinging this back and forth. It doesn't, it's getting to the point where it's really not going to affect other people. It won't affect me. I can make sure of that. I've made sure of it. I don't feel the repercussions from other people's union. However, if you're still in a karmic relationship, you will feel that other person's stuff. It's directed towards your head if you haven't detached. You need to peel your head away from the head of the collective. And that's also what's happening with this transit. Now, how do you hold your higher energies? How does that part of him that is looking out for him and saying, and looking out for her and both of them and saying, you know what? I know you're feeling me. I know it. But I can't just have a 5D relationship with you. There's a part of you here that isn't acknowledging me. But that's what I'm here to do. Please don't worry. I need you to pull us in from everywhere. It's time that we finish it. I don't know, I get overwhelmed, and then I get stressed, and then I just don't know what to do. Then I get confused, and then I wonder, and then when I wonder, I just, I just, like, I don't believe it anymore. Do you understand? 
No, I don't understand because you're just being mean to me. You're just being mean. You're mean. I don't understand it. And she won't because how can she feel him and him not feel? And I'm going to say another thing here which might sound a bit out there. It's man time. It is time for the masculine to feel, and they will. They're mostly feeling their own connections. They're not here to feel everybody else. But it sometimes happens where they do start to feel by feeling other things. They feel another person. They feel an animal. They have a pet. Or they start crying at puppy chow commercials. And they feel that it somehow affects their masculinity. It takes a little bit to balance the feminine and the masculine. So this happens also in gay and lesbian relationships as well. I love you so much and I just see us doing so many things together. Yes, I know, but you have all these ideas and you just don't understand. No, you're just trying to control everything. Look, I just know better, you know, I just know better and, you know, I just want you to listen to me, all right? I've, I've been through many, 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 many relationships, but this is actually my first. I've never, ever, ever been with a woman. I, I was always with men and, you know, men always try to control my life. Come to think of it, in my childhood, I was always, yeah, girls were never given their fair value. Look, I value you. You just need to let me do it my way. But but your way isn't working, and there's something not working here. I, I just, I don't understand it, but, but sometimes you feel like, you feel like, I don't know, like everyone I've ever met, you know, men and women that just want to boss me around and you won't let me be me. But being you is too soft. You're weak. You're, you don't understand how the world is. Yes, I understand how the world is. But if you are sweet and kind, you draw it towards you. No, you get hurt. You get hurt. I don't want you hurt. But I don't want you hurt. You're, you're so angry all the time and I feel it. Oh, see, there you go crying again. See, you get all emotional. But we do feel emotions. I love you. Don't you love me back? Don't you feel me? Oh, I'm starting to not feel you because you just, I don't know, you want to twist this all into something that's all, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, it just, just doesn't matter what I do. And they've got to break up their old dynamics and their old patterns. So, you know, you might have another couple who are a gay couple and they're so alike they look alike oh my god some twins they actually do look like each other hey so um hi how are you yeah so I went and did all those things I picked up your laundry and um, I made something for dinner and then I thought I'd give you a foot rub after dinner and Oh, gosh. Um, is there anything else you need help with? I just love you so much. I just really, really want, like, oh, God. Like, what's with this guy? He's too clingy. Oh, my God. Like, you know, I don't really want him to do all these things, but he just keeps doing and forcing it. I just wish he'd go with the flow. Um, Yeah, that's fine, dude. Like, yeah, dude, why'd you call me dude? I, I love you. You should call me by my name. Well, yeah, I, I will. Um, yeah, thanks for doing all that stuff, Mike. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I just, he doesn't know how to show me any appreciation. Doesn't he know I just want to get a hug? I mean, I'm just telling him. And the problem with these two is, yes, they're kind of on two different love languages, but... The biggest blockage is the mind, the mind and thinking and not being able to receive, not because he doesn't want to be loved. He doesn't do proper self-care. He doesn't take care of his own stuff. He doesn't put on his stuff. And this one is an enabler and he's overly extended. And so they, they don't have a balance between them. And how do you get these balances? 
you know, and then you have someone, you know, you're just, you're so married to all the other things you've been involved with. Well, those things have supported me handsomely and they have rewarded my efforts. I get appreciation there. I've gotten kudos and I've gotten a lovely paycheck and I've actually built up my life. Why should I have to break it down for you? But it's in how it feels to me. I just can feel it. I can feel all the other things you're tied to. Well, you just don't understand. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just doing what my father did and my grandfather did. And, you know, we have a long history of strong, strong people in my family. Well, I'm strong too. Well, I know that's why I was drawn to you. But, you know, I love you. And, and I don't know, you seem to criticize all of the things that, that I'm, I've been involved in as though I did it wrong or something. Well, I just, I just, I don't see it. It, it seems so connected to, I'm going to say it, the matrix. The matrix, it, it's connected to the matrix. Matrix? Well, what do you think has been supporting things here? I, I, I just don't understand some of this fluffy talk that you say sometimes. I, I don't understand it. I mean, we're here we are loving each other. We have a good time, but then every time that you, you start overly thinking things, I, I'm somehow no good. I somehow become just a, just a, I don't know, just something. And, you know, they're not balancing and feeling each other. They're putting things at surface value. How would you get the old connections out? In other words, if he's in the military and, you know, they wind up seeing some kind of a show. They want to go to an air show. Is she supposed to feel the repercussions of all of the negative aspects of it? And him, and are they supposed to have like a, a breakup over it? Is this supposed to be a deal breaker? Or do they create a new relationship where it doesn't affect either one of them? Because they are in the circle. And once they start ping-ponging all of the mental stuff towards each other, guess what happens? They're not in the heart feeling each other anymore. Now, what I like to be able to do is help people to feel, to help create your own activations, to help let go of the past. How does she help him let go of his past? Not just the earthly past where he's been a great guy. It could be the past that maybe some of those grandfathers and ancestors have had to do things that were maybe unforgivable at the time. Maybe. And there is a grand design here. There is, in essence, several things that I will be talking about in here in my webinar, The Angelic Heritage, I talk about your lineage, history, where we are going with this. And this is in two parts. The first part is January 27th and 28th. And the next part will be in February to carry you through February. Yes. Okay. Also, to companion these, I have two webinars that will be very helpful for this couple if she orders the expansion of love erasing the past, she will find ways not just to let go of the karmic past that they may have shared or had or had separately and are now trying to meld together. She will find tools in there. She will find tools in there. Oh my goodness. I can actually erase the past. Yes, you can. Yes, you can erase the past. I teach you how to do that in there. You mean where it won't feel like he's done something and somehow I'm bearing the brunt of it? Because he's such a great guy. He is such a great guy. Yes, sing his praises because he is a fabulous angelic. He is fabulous. He's wonderful. Yes, he is. And yes, that helmet will come off one day and he won't be so testadura. Hard head. Okay, so because he has a heart. A lot of people, they've had to cover their heart or protect their heart or defense themselves, put their defenses up. A lot of people. Also, if you're wondering what will you do and how would you get yourself jump started, abundance for your union. 
this man, he's been floundering a bit. He's been sort of floundering and going, I just don't know what to do with myself. I mean, I look the part, I go to a 9 to 5 job, but I feel the door closing on it. And I don't know how to make that quantum leap, and I don't know what to do to get myself. You need the, you need the abundance for your union one. Again, six hours of material, that's six hours of material. This one is close to two hours. I have tools. There is a meditation in this one. So please avail yourself of what's available here to help you. How would you help your twin? Okay. You may have, you may have thought you've let them go. But things are going to continue streaming through your body. How do you get a comfort level with that? All right. You don't know. Maybe you do know. Maybe you don't know. Maybe it's specific to you too. But it is for the people who are going with this now and this year. And this is your year and you can feel it. Not the people with some really dire stuff. And I don't have timelines on everyone. I have the timeline for this first set here. The first batch. And I'm using the word batch. Okay, I like to bake. I'm going to use the word batch. The children of Gaia, especially Atlantis, Egypt, and Mu. And bringing it all, bringing it to the heart, taking it all out of the old connections, old timelines, old and ancient Atlantean timelines. And yes, I was in Atlantis. I was in Lemuria. I was in Egypt. Okay. Let's say that you are a person who identifies with one of the people in Egypt. Okay. Let's say that you're, you feel like you were a famous Pharaoh. You were that Pharaoh. Okay. Not only were you the uh, leader, the ruler, but you had a lot of people looking to you for support and stuff. How do you get those people f from those ancient timelines who may be friends or acquaintances or employees here in this life? How do you get them out of you? That's a lot of what I talk about in terms of uh, clearing the body, clearing out your subtle bodies, because these areas of the planet were populated from the cosmic level. They were not populated at ground level right away where you went to this country, you know, commingled with the people one way or another and made a new race of people or a new nationality. This is distinctly from the cosmic level. So that makes it a little bit different. And don't become upset with people who are you know, coming out with their stuff. They are here to assist, okay? You don't need to um, put them down or anything or be derisive about it. There are people that are stepping up so that they can be healers, they can also teach, and whatever clicks with you. I have had a lot of people um, let me know about their success with my stuff here. So I have quite a library of material, but they are all stepping stones. I receive guidance on what to present because it's pertinent for the time frame that you're coming into. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful week. Don't stay frosty. Things are going to warm up for you quite a bit. And even if you feel like you've let your twin go, there's more to this than meets the eye. You're letting go of, you know, a lot of the old patterns that have been there. You know, maybe it's even been your habit to break up and break up and break up and break up and break up. And even that's going to bust up. If this is new to you and you're finding that you're just now getting blasted open, hi. <laughs> So um, in some ways, this is, will be intense. However, many of you who have this may have resolved some things in other lives in terms of 
3D Karma. When it comes to the next levels for you, that is where my materials may be very important for you and very helpful. The main thing is, is I want you to feel empowered because what would a good parent do? They would, you know, get their kids, you know, maybe the things that they need. Yes, it is a paid tutorial. It's a webinar. And yes, there's a reason for it because it is packed of valuable information. And yes, I feel it's value. I am uh, very proud of it. There's a lot of work that goes into each one. This expansion of Love Erasing the Past was probably about three months in the work to compress it into two hours of material and make it focused and concise so that you can get in and you can get on with your day. There are people that like to live in, you know, some of these settings, in a meditation or in, I like to pride myself on the fact that my things enable people to do something and get on with the real living, to get on with um, the things that are of interest to you because that's also something that's breaking up is um, maybe some of the groups that may have helped you initially and it's starting to feel like the doors closing on that. This is not an easy space to be in. There's a lot of doors closing, but there's a huge opening here and there's a reason for it. Don't let other people into the huge opening that's opening for you and your twin. There is a grand design. Thank you so much for watching. And the links are down below or on my website, which is www.twinflamesmerge.com. And yes, I also do one-on-one -on -one sessions, spirit chats. I do follow-ups with people. And I also do um, specialized things. For example, if you're going through a situation such as a divorce, there's a lot of information that comes through. So thanks so much. I hope that you find it helpful. Enjoy your day. Bye.